Done Matt here on Farm Ideas, and I'm just checking back with uh, how my grubs did on grubbing on those potato peels and the tomato. And as you can see, almost everything is gone. Yeah, let me put this in a better right. way. Moved it out of the way and um, into a little bit better of light. Uh, it's kind of not early, early in the morning, but it's uh, not a lot of light out right now. Plus, we're getting overcast. But anyways, so this is probably it's not even it's not even 48. It's not even two days. It's it's like 40 hours later. Okay, and um, as you can see, there's a clear difference on top. Um, the tomatoes, the pieces I had one right here and one big one over here, completely gone. Uh, they ate that quick actually. Um, and then the potato peels, I mean, if we look in here, there's potato peels on top, right? But those are the driest ones. And then let's look underneath. Because I'm curious to see. I haven't looked in, in it. So let's, I'm curious to see if there's, you know, if it's like just under the surface they have all these. Well, just under the surface, you obviously, you see these worm butts. Say, so look at them. Oh, they're staying still. <laughs> So, but anyways, so just under the surface, what do we have? Black soil, right? And it, if you can see it close on my on my camera here, um, it looks like castings. Uh, but let's dig underneath just a little. Try not to kill any worms. Damn, bunch of grubs. <laughs> so there's about a hundred in here. And uh, maybe that's why they're just tearing it up. But I don't see any tomato pieces or potato peels, for that matter. Um, it smells a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit anaerobic. Yeah, that's the word. But uh, I'm going to switch them out to a bigger bin. Because I think this is just too small. But as you can see, look at that. They just broke it down. In 40 hours, two pounds of potato peels, and um, and big chunks of uh, tomatoes. So, anyways, I'm gonna keep adding different things to this and see how it goes. Uh, thus far, it's been going really well. The uh, soil looks really good and rich. Uh, it's gonna be great for my garden. And then at the end of the year, I'm gonna feed these nice big fat grubs and they're gonna get bigger than this to my chickens um, just before they pupate uh, they pupate just around spring and they turn into those green beetles fig eater beetles to be exact that fly around uh, I'm gonna feed off a lot of them and then I'm gonna see if I can actually just leave them in the bucket or in whatever I put them in with a cover and maybe they'll breed uh, and lay eggs inside the uh, side you know the dirt that's inside the container. So anyways, that's uh, fig eater beetles, eight, two pounds of potato peels, and a couple tomatoes, and I'll be running more and more experiments. So subscribe to my channel and join us on Facebook. All right, God bless. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing now.